This video is brought to you by the 280 Group, optimizing product management. This is a sample of the course materials from the Agile Excellence for Product Managers and Product Owners online self-study course. Let's start with a bird's eye view of Scrum and define the main phases of a Scrum project framework. We'll explore each of these in detail later. In Scrum, we have a list of product requirements called the product backlog. The product backlog is an ordered list of everything you think you need in the product. These are often captured as user stories, which we'll learn more about later. These requirements are ordered from top to bottom according to business value, and they include new features, usability enhancements, bug fixes, and so on. You develop the requirements into fully workable and tested code during time-boxed iterations. In Scrum, these iterations are called sprints, and they typically last from one to four weeks. You're going to pull everyone together and work on these requirements the team can complete in the time frame of a single iteration. During that iteration, the team will define, code, and test what's been built. Then, the team and the product owner will inspect how far you've come. You can then reorder the backlog as needed and pull together another set of requirements to work on in the next iteration. At the end of each iteration or sprint, you end up with a working product that is potentially releasable. By potentially releasable, we mean that it's quality code that's been tested and documented. It works and meets the team's definition of done. It does not have to be a complete and marketable product all on its own. Are you ready to become great at working with agile teams? The online course and exam is available now. Find out more.